I so fucking drunk here back again with another attempt at nail review. And what I'm going to do just now, it's not very often you can see you've done this, but had a hard week at work and decided, uh, had to do a little bit of shopping, you know what it is, the wife's like, gonna get this, gonna get that. So anyway, went away and done it. And then I was walking just out past the shops, new pub had opened, and I thought, I'm gonna go in there and have a, a, a pint. One pint, just to see what the fuss is all about, just to see what it's like. So I walked away in, it was a Witherspoons, which everybody knows what the fuss is all about. So anyway, I thought, the only reason I went in there, because I knew they would have craft beer. Walked in, and they had this on craft, and I thought, I'm going to have that, because I'm going to review it tonight. And it's a Marsden's Old Empire, 5.7 on the Richter scale. It's not very often that you get the chance to drink it, drink it on the, from the cask and then review it as well. Uh, this is one that I picked up quite a while ago, actually a long, long time ago. Uh, I was uh, the Bottle Crown, the Marstons with the official bill of the English cricket team. Said in my very, very poshest English voice. Sorry about that. Didn't offend anyone that was English, did I? As I said, this was one I picked up uh, quite a while ago. I actually had a little box that I keep my beers in, and I put it in a cupboard and I forgot all about it. And then I recently discovered it, and I had nine beers in it, and this was one of them. So, anyway, we'll give it a little pour. The Marsden's uh, Old Empire, 5.7 on Richter skill for this. A lot of so I, I have had a go at it on the cask. And it's nice to know I'm going to have a go at it in the bottle as well. So anyway, it's a nice sort of a uh, very, very, well it's very, very well carbonated. Very, very similar sort of colour to like a speckle, maybe a little bit lighter than a speckle 10. But it's got a lot of life in it, the head's hanging about there on the glass. So, anyway, we'll get in here for the nose, see what I can come up with. Right away, you're picking up the caramel in there. A little bit of fruit as well. Very hard to um, a little bit of roast malt. Can't really pick up what the fruit is, but there is a kind of fruity base in there anyway. So anyway, Sanjiva, it's all about the taste. So anyway, so fucking drunk and in here from Marston's Old Empire, 5.7 on a Richter right scale. Had it on cast this evening, trying it on bottle now. Sanjiva. Beautiful caramel, lovely, lovely soft caramel there. A little bit of the fruit in there as well, as I mentioned. A little bit of a uh, spice. Picked up a little bit of spice, didn't get it on the nose. But it's got this lovely, lovely sort of like peppery spice about it as well. I'm going to say something with the fruit here, and I don't know, there'll be, there'll be beer gurus out there have probably reviewed this, but I'm picking up a little bit of raisin. Now, to me, like to, to pick up a raisin, your beer would have to be a lot darker than that, so I, I'm still learning. As I say, I'm a, an absolute authority on nothing here. Uh, I just taste it and smell it the way I get it, and a lot of the times with my smell, which has came on a lot better in my videos, uh, since I've drinking a lot more craft beers, uh, I've developed a little bit of a nose. I'm not as good as some of the guys out there. Some of the guys like your beer goggles, your really old guy, uh, your uh, urban Viking, and uh, 
or these guys out there. And I've got a few guys out there as well uh, uh, that follow my channel as well, and uh, they've got some good noses as well out there. Um, the only one that springs to mind is uh, uh, the beer bopper. Uh, I think it's a beer bopper he's called, uh, and then there's another one as well. He's a uh, the Jags fan. What's he? Ban Ban said he. I don't know if I pronounced that right or not. I, I I can't remember. I've got a shocking memory. But anyway, I don't know like, if any of you guys out there. There's uh, there are a bit of better beer authorities out there than me. I'll tell you that much. Uh, but. It's not a bad brew actually, it's not a bad brew. I put my eye furniture away, let's just see what it says in the bottle. The Old Empire. This is right up Beer Goggle Street isn't it, the Old Empire. Everything British. Uh, the Old Empire original export, a true IPA with a strong hop aroma and flavour of rich malty bitter and taste and pale in colour. Well see to be honest with you, as I said I had it on cast this evening. Right, and it was a lot better on cask, and it's a lot softer in the bottle. Uh, more, I'm, I'm picking up more of the flavour in the bottle than what I did in the cask. I found that uh, in the cask it was quite a, a very pungent alcohol taste to it. Where in the bottle I'm not getting that at all. Not getting that at all. Uh, let me see what it says in the back here. Marston's Old Empire is a true India pale ale. It is has a strong hop aroma, and the flavour of rich malt, bitter taste. I would agree with the cask, but the bottle, I'm not getting a bitter taste. During the 19th century, Burton became famous for brewing the best beer uh, uh, for export to India. Sparkling spring waters, robust strain of yeast, high levels of hops, maturation in oak casks. Didn't pick that up right enough. All ensured that the beer survived the three months sea journey to India. Uh, the result was a beer with a tangy clean bitterness. Yeah, I'm getting that. And a wonderfully refreshing character. I like that bit there. It said, uh, what did it say it now? <laughs> about the three months journey to India. Now, I think if anybody's been to India, and I've never been to India, I was quite fancy that actually, I think you would probably need a three month holiday to get over it, tell you the truth. But, really, really strong stuff. The days of the Raj and British Empire. It's the old empire, and why shouldn't it be? That's the way it used to be. Looks really, really nice stuff. And it is really, really nice stuff. Uh, I'm going to give us a, a double mark tonight on my sofa king trunk. The, the Old Empire. I'll show you the label again. The Marston's Old Empire. 5.7 on Richter scale for the India Pale Ale. I'm going to give it a double mark. I'm going to give it for the cask. Uh, I'm going to give it a sofa king trunk rating of... A 6 out of 10 and for the bottle version which I have enjoyed better I'm going to give it a Sofa King Drunk rating of 7.5 out of 10 so anyway if you've tried the Marsden's Old Empire 5.7 on a Richter scale if you've tried it before you agree you don't disagree you think it's a better brew you think the cask is more superior than the bottle please give me a shout Drop a comment below, I'll try and answer them the best I can. And if not, so fucking drunk, maybe see you about in another beer review. Ciao for now, Sanjeeva. Keep drinking a good beer.